whatever I see I remember yo if you remember me hello friends welcome to 7 minute study in this video i'm going to talk about the topic of recognition of tokens and uh, i am going to explain recognition of tokens how the process is going to be performed with the help of few examples so as we know that lexical analyzer reads a source program character by character and produces a sequence of tokens as a result all right for the further uh, processing so the tokens might be in the form of a variable identifiers constants or keywords so these tokens are specified with the help of some regular expressions as we have discussed in the previous video so the tokens now recognized can be help uh, like uh, depicted with the help of some transition state transition diagrams so that's what is known as recognition or specification uh, recognition of specified tokens all right recognition is in the form of uh, that is we can recognize tokens in the form of some pre specified like state transition diagram rules all right so i'm going to give a few examples of those for identifying variables identifiers constants and keywords as tokens so recognition of tokens that is identifiers firstly could be done as like this like let's say uh, let's assign all the letters both lower case and upper case letters to the uh, letter regular expression and then digit Uh, as all the form like uh, digits possible and id would be the identifier so it's going to be a combination of letter and then a letter or a digit all right this is going to be an identifier uh, so an identifier would be a variable a function name a method name etc in any other programming language as such so the transition diagram would be first the transition would be done from the initial to final state directly and it would be uh, always in the same state as whenever we get a letter or digit once or more than once sorry zero times or more than zero times we are still going to be in the final state uh, that is an identifier could be uh, a or s e v or s e v e n so after s will go here and for e v e n n will still they will still will be there all right so that's what we are going to be uh, that's what is going to be happening there so next we are going to discuss about the recognition of keywords uh, we can use transition diagrams to recognize keywords like int float double while for loops or uh, if and else loop so that's what's happening there basically we can do we can like recognize the token using state transition diagrams as this here we can observe like int is being uh, recognized here i n t we are going to be the uh, we are going to the final state there and then for float we are going to the final state here and then for double we are going for the final to the final state here so this is happening there the transition is going to be happening from state to state by using letters or uh, like numbers or any other format so the next one is going to be the recognition of variables whereas variables is another form of tokens so variables would be um, variables we have some variable name uh, nomenclature rules that is we can name or specify a variable based on these rules uh, one and most important rule as such is that we can never start the naming of a variable with the help of a digit that is a variable can be s e v e n 7 but it cannot be s c v e n so this is not possible in a, in, in a variable nomenclature and this is possible in variable nomenclature so that and we can even use uh, um, like the underscore wherever we want to use it we can use it at beginning we can use it at the end or uh, somewhere in the middle too we can use number of uh, underscores so we are first uh, let's consider a transition diagram for that we are going to specify the transition uh, rules for that so the transition uh, rules can be with the help of uh, regular expression that is this this whole forms a regular definition and each individual one has a regular expression all right so this is u un is named to be underscore and letter all upper case and low uh, like low case digits uh, uh, sorry alphabets and then digit as 0 to 9 digits and then variable can be named as letter or underscore any number of underscores once or uh, sorry zero times or more than zero uh, more than once 
and here two we can specify so that's what is happening in the uh, state transition diagram whenever whenever we are getting an underscore or a letter we are going to the first state and wherein if we get to the uh, others if we get any uh, if we get any other um, possible transition we are going to go directly to the final state we can even put this state as the final state this is also possible and here we would we can't like make the initial state directly the final state because we have another uh, conditions possible uh, whereas uh, we have to consider letter or digit or underscore after once we get the first or the second underscore so that's what's happening here and then we can even uh, recognize constants based on the state transition diagram yeah all right so uh, constants would be like 1 2 3 1 2 3.45 1 2 3.4 exponent to the power of 10 okay uh, so 10th exponent is e so we can specify like number as a regular expression and this is going to be the regular definition for the entire constants um, digit plus one uh, sorry once or more than once digit plus once or more than once hold together zero or one times all right this entire regular expression part is going to be like occurring once zero times or once this also is going to be occurring once zero or one time that is you can observe this part and this part this part is made one uh, one bracket here zero or one times either this can occur or not even this this is uh, made uh, zero or one times that is this can occur or not using the uh, question mark metadata all right so meta character sorry that's question mark meta character is used to define that uh, possibility there of zero or one times occurrence so this is how the entire uh, state transition diagram is going to be happening like if we have zero zero and one one combinations we go from zero state to one uh, seven state that is all these possibilities that is this entire thing is able is forming and if you have zero and one combination we are only forming this this is zero that is we don't have any decimal point but we have the one that is we have the exponent so it might be like this exponent to the power of 10 all right so this might be possible here and uh, for this this for this we have both zero and zero all right so we are, we make zero and zero combinations this both don't occur so 123 is an example for zero zero and for one one this all conditions occur this all conditions occur so what's happening there an example for that 123.4 e20 might be an example of that exponent to the power of 10 that is this is nothing but uh, 123.4 into 10 to the power of 20 that's what it means basically all right and for 10 combination we go from 0 to 3 state third state and then we go to third to ninth state all right so that's 10 combination what's happening there we are getting a decimal point but we don't have an exponential point so what's happening an example for such a condition is 124.5 so such uh, things are possible in case of constants so we can uh, we can consider a token to be a constant variable an identifier or any keyword so we can all uh, we can express all these in the form of all this in the form of uh, all this in the form of a state transition diagram such that is known as recognition of tokens thanks for watching the video if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment section thank you